We're starting to notice in here that people are sitting way too much, sometimes eight to 10 hours a day or more. When you sit that long, you get really tight hip flexors and you get really weak glutes. So the purpose of today's corrective exercises are, are to help you strengthen your glutes. If you have weak glutes, we, we see normal things like hip popping or clicking, recurrent low back pain, recurrent SI joint subluxation patterns. So we need you guys to start taking some action, building up some glute strength to help you hold your adjustments longer and therefore get better results faster. This is your beginner glute activation exercise and this one is called the glute bridge. So what you're going to do is you're gonna be laying on a flat surface. You can use a gym mat or whatever to be nice and squishy under you. And what you're gonna do is this exercise is, be, is driven through the heels. So from here, her knees are bent and what she's gonna do is she's gonna to start to lift, pushing through her heels, you can see here. Once she reaches the top of this exercise, you can see that her glutes were completely activated. So she's nice and contracted there and then as well as activated um, and engaged in her core, so she's not extending her back. As she drops down, she's going nice and slow, hitting the ground, and then as she comes back up, she's holding two to three seconds. This is your intermediate glute activating exercise, and what it's called is the glute kickback. So what you're gonna do is, Dr. Heather's gonna have hands on the ground, knees on the ground as well, so you're on all fours. Um, hands are underneath the shoulder here, and then your knees are right underneath your hip. And here you can see that her hands are flexed. If that's too much pressure on your wrist, she's gonna go, go ahead and put them in fists, and that helps kind of level that out for you. And with this exercise, what you're gonna do, um, for a little bit more of an easier one, she's just gonna begin by bringing her um, heel back. So same thing, she's just driving with the heel going up. And then as she reaches the top of that exercise, She's gonna feel all her activation here in that glute. And you can see that her um, pelvis is being nice and square. Her ab is also engaged there too. Um, and then as this starts to become a little easier for you, what you can do is you can start by extending the leg all the way back. That also helps kind of get some activation in the hamstrings as well, but she's still mainly focusing in on that activating of her glutes. Okay, so this is going to be your advanced glute activating exercise. And what this exercise is called is a band pull through. So what you're going to need is any fixed object. So you can see that we're using a door. You can use, you know, a counter. Some people use a treadmill, but something that's just fixed and it's not gonna move. And then what you're gonna do is, Dr. Heather's gonna slide so that way her feet are right in between, or the band is right in between her feet. And she's about three feet in front of the door. You'll be in three feet in front of the fixed area. And then when she comes down, she's mainly gonna be driving this exercise with her hips. So she's bringing the band down and then she's squeezing her glutes at the very top. Everything is being driven here. That way she's really activating that glute. And then just be mindful of not trying to pull with your arms. If you're starting to pull with your arms, that's just a good indicator that you have too thick or too strong of a band. So just bring that down in resistance. So to recap, for all of your glute activating exercises, you're going to wanna to make sure that your core is nice and engaged, no pelvic tilting, and then also make sure at the very top of your exercise, you are completely engaged in your glutes. Also holding at the top of your exercise from up to three seconds, and your reps can range wherever your comfort zone is. So 15 to 30 reps is ideal.